All right, guys, so we want to show you a little bit about the difference between night vision and thermal. And thermal has a huge edge, and I cannot stress that enough over night vision when it comes to identifying either threats or even things that you're hunting. So I have John over here. He's got a Helion XP38, right, Ethan? XP38, so it's a 640 core handheld thermal. We have DTNVSs with L3 tubes. These are white phosphor tubes, beautiful tubes. So what I'm gonna do is take my iPhone and I'm gonna record. You're gonna see a little bit of that LiDAR crap or whatever they have going on here on the camera. And Brenton, if you wanna look over to Ethan as well, you can, I'm gonna get this lined up. All right, I'm recording now. So Ethan, stand up. Okay, so Ethan's standing. If I was just scanning here, I would not be able to see that. John, are you recording? Yep. So John's got the thermal. John, you can probably see him clear as day, right? Yeah. Ethan, wave your hands around. So there's Ethan. Hold the rifle up like you're Taliban or something. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said <laughs> All right, so kneel down. So I can see Ethan. He Kneel down. All right, Ethan's gone. So if I was just scanning, these are top of the line binocular night vision if I was just walking along in the woods here I would not know that Ethan's there John can you still see Ethan yeah yeah so John can make out Ethan now he is behind a pretty thick batch of brush there but Ethan go ahead and lay down now this is gonna be hard for even thermal but John can you see some sort of a signature I mean it's getting tough to see but uh, you can definitely see that there's a glow behind some of that brush so sit up again Ethan and stand up so if he was standing still here he's not in camo he has no special colors on and he's blending in perfectly with the environment i can kind of make out the fact that he's got a rifle but guys the difference between thermal and night vision is thermal is going to show you things that night vision just simply will not doesn't matter how good of an infrared illuminator you've got thermal's picking up heat signatures and if you're running a 640 core thermal you're going to see stuff very clear whether you're hunting, evading, or pursuing, it's a solid tool to have in your kit. That's why whenever we're running around in the darkness, we have some sort of a handheld or helmet-mounted thermal.